and the threat continues tonight as we look at part of it live on the radar, firing up tonight from parts of the Northeast, stretching back to the Midwest. We get our report tonight from NBC's Ron Mott. Hurricane force winds ripped through upstate New York Tuesday night in Verona near Syracuse. Triggering a tornado that killed at least four people in the town of Smithfield. David Campbell lost his daughter, granddaughter, and sister-in-law. It's just lost all the hope when this happened. Real heartbreak. It was a familiar post-tornado scene. Residents speaking through the littered remains of their belongings. We don't get tornadoes in New York, right? Anyone will tell you that. Well, we do now. Uh, and this new normal of extreme weather is a challenge for government. Another storm further south near Baltimore, a sudden onslaught of wind and rain sent more than 100 kids and adults running for cover through flying debris at a youth camp. A 12 year old boy was killed there. A dozen were injured by boat systems. The extreme weather swept through the Northeast. Storms plunged 200,000 into the dark around Philadelphia. In the Southwest, Arizona and New Mexico took a battery. A Colorado man on Monday captured his scary post call with a lightning bolt. In Parksville, Missouri, women inmates helped shovel sandbags to homes and businesses still taking on water, despite the river cresting 10 feet above flood stage earlier today. Told they were on their own this year, many of the town's residents and business owners teamed up to help one another near the otherwise picturesque riverfront. Their shops had shuttered again, water flowing, but not cash. That's really tough. It's really tough, you know, it comes out of your pocket because when we're not working, we don't have any income coming. Here at Clarksville, this riverfront road could be underwater for the next week or so, maybe even longer. And as you mentioned, Brian, last night those communities in the northeast and the mid Atlantic that got hit hard under the gun again tonight, wind forecast upwards of 70 miles per hour. Ron Bob reporting.